The return of Tom Hanks, the burbs, baby, the burbs. Larry Crown, which is really nothing like the Burbs. Want to get that out there. All right, so Larry Crown was actually directed by Tom Hanks, and it was written by Tom Hanks and that chick who wrote my Big Fat Greek Wedding. So it sounds like it's made by a couple people who know what's going on. So Larry Crown's about a guy played by Tom Hanks named Larry Crown who works in a retail store, and he's like the nicest guy ever. Like to an absurd degree, he's just always smiling. He's always happy. He's like that guy that you look at and you're like, I wish I knew more of those people. Then you look at yourself and you're like, I'm a piece of shit because I'm nothing like that guy. I should be. So the corporate guys who run the company he works for downsize and they fire him. He's like the perfect employee and they just can him. Which if you've ever worked retail you understand. Because you know every retail chain is run by snakes, douchebags, and assholes. All of them. I've worked retail so I know. I hope they're watching. And so in order to be fireproof, Tom Hanks gets the idea that he should go to school for the first time ever. He's like a 40-something year old guy, he's never been to school, so now he's off to college. And then the movie ensues. Now I've seen some reviews for this movie and they're like, oh, it's not that funny. Or as a romantic comedy, it just fails. Well, it's not a comedy and I would barely call it a romantic comedy. You're right, if it's one of those two, it does fail. It's about a guy named Larry Crown who's going through some self-discovery and he's affecting people around him and whatnot. You know, good shit like that. Although it does have romantic comedy type things in it. Now when he first gets to school, he meets it's this chick who was like really cute. I don't know who she is except she was in that show called Undercovers that was like canceled after like an episode and a half. I was like, dude, screw Julia Roberts, go after that chick. Yeah, so she's like 20 something years younger than Tom Hanks, but hey, I think he could have convinced her it's a good idea. She's hot. She was not sandwiches. And she's really cool and really good for Tom Hanks. She's like this free spirit. She's like, you live only once, try everything once, just enjoy life. And he's pretty much like tofu. Like he picks up the flavors of whatever's around him. And so he's like, oh, okay, I'll hang out with you. You want me to join your probably gay moped biker gang from The Wiz? I am in. They were a biker gang who rode mopeds. <laughs> Probably gay. And he never has a romance with this chick. This chick's just someone he hangs out with. And Tom Hanks ultimately takes two college courses this semester. One taught by Julia Roberts, the other taught by George Takei. And he is attracted to one of them. Sorry my gay demographic, he's attracted to Julia Roberts. Oh my. Now Julia Roberts, when I first saw her in this movie, I'm like, she is such a drag. I mean, you're on such an up from Larry Crown's character, you like him and you're like, yeah dude, I'm feeling good, this guy is awesome. And then Julia Roberts is like gray the entire time and you're like, oh well. <laughs> I'm, I'm coming down from that high. But you understand why she's miserable? Because she's married to Heisenberg from Breaking Bad, who plays a former writer slash blogger slash unemployed douchebag. It's like all the negative aspects of Hank Moody from Californication, minus any success, ability to get chicks, or likability in general. Yeah, he's a douchebag. And she's married to him, so you understand why she's miserable. But the really intriguing part of the movie was just watching Larry Crown evolve, and then vicariously make like Julia Roberts feel better, although they don't really spend a lot of time together at all, except for in the classroom. In fact, you're unaware that there's too much of an attraction between the two until like a half an hour is left in the movie. Which is why I say it's not really a romantic comedy, rather a movie about life via the eyes of Larry Crown. Larry Crown starts dressing sharp by the end of the movie. He starts out like khakis and polos and whatnot. By the end, he's wearing stuff that I'm like, I, I wanna wear that. I'm going to the men's warehouse tomorrow and I'm picking up the Larry Crown collection. Let's do this. So if you're looking for a hilarious comedy, it's not really this. If you're looking for a rom-com, it's kind of this. The movie had some funny moments in it, I'll give it that. But if you're looking for a movie like Garden State for 40 something year olds, this is it, this movie gets it. I would say it's a good time, no alcohol required. This movie surprised the hell out of me. It's a good feel good movie. You walk out of there, you're like, I want to be better. I just want to be a better person. I don't got to buy it on Blu-ray. I'll buy it on Blu-ray when I need to buy it on Blu-ray in about 15 years. I think the movie is tailored for people who are going through a midlife crisis. And it makes you kind of want to go to school too because you like the interaction that you just saw. But it's kind of like when you wanted to become a doctor after you watch Scrubs. Then you look into it and you're like, screw that shit. I ain't doing this anymore. That's way too exhausting. So Larry Crown got fired from his job. What's the job that you've had where you're like, I, I can't believe I'm doing this. I hate this shit. I want to quit or hopefully I just get fired. Comment below. Let me know. And if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, more, click right here to see more.